Wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> got, got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendly's. I lied. You jerk. I didn't feel anything, but you did. Happy Halloween. Gotcha. Ha, hepatitis C. Joke's on you. I already got it. Meningitis. I'm a carrier. Gonorrhea. Patient zero. You're gonna have to do better than that. I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Oh, no! My Luna Bar for women! Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. Hey, Quagmire, you know that stray cat we got in our neighborhood? The pregnant one? Yep, she's having her kittens right now. <gasps> oh, no way. Yep, making all those high-pitched meow, meow noises and everything. I love them already. Yeah, but Brian's been eyeing them pretty good. What? Yeah, and I gotta go to work now, so I hope he's not, like, hungry or nothing. This is your captain speaking. We've discovered a shoe bomb on board. We're gonna have to return to the turn. I'm a virgin, Joe. I don't want to die a virgin. Help me, please. Let me have sex with Bonnie. <sighs> I guess so. For my friend, on our last day on Earth. You're a good man, Joe Swanson. That was your first time. Oh, I've had sex lots of times. I just wanted to have it again. <laughs> Screw you! Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> ah, ah, what the hell? Ah, 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 Peter, make him stop! <laughs> Hey, what do you got going on down here, Quagmire? You, you got a you got a rodent situation? Uh, no! Well, Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! Oh, you scared him out the front. Tony, come back! Boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. Hey, you guys, you remember those hot homeless twins who live under the overpass? Well, last night I got... Wait, 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 Quagmire, let me cover Stewie's ears. And this is the hand that caused all the trouble. <laughs> got your nose, little guy. <laughs> Doing great. Now roll it. What? No way. Don't worry. You're a quagmire. It's in your blood. Grip it and rip it. Okay. Atta girl. Perfect. No, 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 we're not doing that. I got my daughter with me today, you perverts. He's not doing it today. Ah, shoot. Another time. Probably got his kid with him. It's been great to meet you all, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you while we're here. <sighs> Dude, put your pants on. Shut up. Giggity. Giggity. Lois, oh my gosh, hi! <sighs> How you girls doing on popcorn? I'll take some. Here you go. Oh, look, here's a simulation of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Hi. Bye. Everyone sees me as a woman. Oh, no. This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time. From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys. Mm. Yeah. One of the kids had a nanny cam hidden in his room. Come on, let's do it on your son's tiny bed. Hurry, he gets home at three. Okay, it's later than this. Yeah, yeah fa fast forward ahead. Forward, forward, keep forwarding. Is that woman gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. We're having brunch after this. God, I look huge. Yeah! Let go, right. Carter! Get some! Get some! Hey, Joe, that's like right in my f***ing ear. Hey, Peter, do you mind? But I have to get dinner. Go out. Time to reel her in.
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah, it's too much, too much. My father in the hospital? I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. And go have sex with Quagmire! Quagmire! Oh, shucks, you can't blame a guy for trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity! <laughs> Happy birthday. Hey, hey, where's that pinky going, huh? Where's he going? What, what's he do? Get back here. There you go. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. I'm attracted to another man. Giggity? It's Meg's boyfriend, Anthony. Giggity. Peter, are you having trouble getting ready? Yes, obviously I'm having trouble. Well, somebody's got to have sex with me. Lois, don't say that. Quagmire will show up like the Roadrunner. It's okay, your vagina's just a painted on hole. You're still here? Yeah. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly you're not familiar with how this works. Here, let me help you to the door. You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire! One of these days, you're gonna get what you deserve! You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh. Hi, Angela. I'm Peter's friend, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, thank you so much for having me in your home. And um, I would have had sex with you, but Peter neglected to tell me that you are a complete dumpster fire. <laughs> Some friend, huh? Okay. All right. Take it easy. You see, women are a lot like Saturday Night Live sketches. Lots of them are awful. Some are decent. And a few are pretty good. But then there's that one. That one woman who's as amazingly perfect as massive head wound Harry. Quagmire's father, decorated war hero, Lieutenant Commander Dan Quagmire, is now a woman. You're kidding. No, and I'm not crazy about the name change. What is it, like Danielle or Dana? No, Ida. I had sex with her! What? I had sex with her at the Marriott! Oh, why? I didn't know! I didn't know it was her! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Would you mind giving me a lift home, buddy? Hi, I'm classy. All right, let's get this going, sweet cheeks. You got a handkerchief? Uh, yeah. Good, ball that up and stick it in your mouth. Uh-huh. Now, what else you got there? You got a stapler? Uh-huh. Uh, I am. Okay, why don't you go ahead and stick that in your mouth, too? Uh. <coughs> How about a mouse pad? Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead and roll that up and stuff it in there. Did you get a packet from HR when you started working there? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll take that as a yes, and I'm pretty certain you know what I want you to do with it. Uh -huh. Okay, you think you can fit anything else into your mouth? Uh-uh. All right, so now let's start filling up some other places. Come on, Brian, you ready to go home? Uh, no, Peter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna meet Jenny's cats. What are you talking about? You hate cats. I'm going to meet her cats. Jeez, all right, okay, all right. You don't have to get all cat, hey, hey, cat dog, right? You're a cat dog. A cat dog, cat dog. And I put it on a cat dog. Hey, where's, where, you know, where's all the poop go? When a cat, when a, in, a, in a cat dog, when a cat poops, what, does it come out of the dog's mouth? And, and vice versa? Oh, God. Oh, that's, that's some kind of living hell. That's some, that's some kind of living hell, Brian. Okay, I gotta go. You have a good time with Jenny. I believe I am psychic. My first prediction, I am either gonna fly or ruin that family's picnic. Hey, you've ruined our picnic! Psychic! Hey, get out of here! This is my house! Oh my god, Brian, what happened? Who did this to you? Did you do this, you son of a bitch? Oh. <laughs> 
got a wicked boner. Hey, Meg, will you hold this for Daddy? Okay. Why? Uh, it's a present. It's a thanks for being such a sweetie watermelon. So you'll hang on to that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. This is weird. Am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> Because we don't want to make a big mistake, like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey, man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's not completely true, because I have a group on, and I'd hate to waste it. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. I'm broken jobless. Quagmire, you belong in a tree. You're a nut. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is everything about this is a clam. I love it. Uh, I was just gonna, that's exactly. Hey, I, I remember, I remember, I remember when, I, I remember when, I remember when Quick Time here passed out in the in the booth, this booth. And we did stuff to him that you do to ladies, and we, we promise we never tell you. What? To the clown. Yo, oh, you, what? Your hair looks stupid. All, all the greatest, all the greatest moments of my life I spent right here in the, in this booth. Maggie's first word, Bart jumping that canyon, Mister Plow. All the greatest moments of my life. Why is why is label guy trying to punch me? Punch you first, label guy. I gotta go pee. I don't. I wanna. Don't wanna get up. Joe, where's the, that thing? Where's the thing? Where's the catheter thing? Oh, it's mine. It's private. Hey, what happens if I blow in this end? No, oh, it'll explode. I'm gonna. You do it better than Bonnie. It takes a man to know what a man likes. Hey, check it out. Lemon snow. What? Yeah, that stuff's delicious. Lemon snow. You mean it just falls from the sky like that? You bet. One of nature's treats. You gonna have some? Nah, I'm already full. But you should have some before the other kids get to it. L what is it, like Italian ice? Yeah, exactly, like a sorbet. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon! No, it's not. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad! Excuse me, do you mind if we switch seats so my family can sit all together? No, we, we don't. We, we don't switch. Because uh, when we booked, they didn't have three together. Ma'am, ma'am. Your poor planning does not constitute an emergency for me. You'll see him in Paris. Go sit down. Are you watching porn in the kitchen? Come on, man. We eat it here. Anyway, I need you to drive me to Middleborough. Middleborough? That's like two hours from here. I'm not doing that. Come on, Brian. Tell you what. You drive me to Middleborough, and I'll teach you my secret to picking up chicks. Hey, you, me, baboom, huh? Hi, sweetie. Ugh, look at us staring. What are you looking at, huh? God, I should take her out right here with these, man. Oh, hey, Lois. Oh, you like staring? Oh, why don't I give you a closer look? Yeah, yeah, you want some of this Maury Poe bitch? Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, you come back for more? Uh, I'd freaking drop her ass. Okay, I gotta go. Stewie and I are headed out to the beach. Oh, I didn't tell you? He's learning to swim. Oh, I got him the cutest swim trunks at Coles. You've never been to Coles? Well, let me tell you about Coles. <sighs> All right, well, you know the mall with the chilies? It's across the street. <laughs> Bonnie? Bonnie, are you there? What happened? Let's go! <sighs> uh -huh. It's big, isn't it? Yes, Peter, it's very big. Yeah, it's big. Oh, God, yes! Ah, yes. Lewis! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs>
Daddy, I want to turn on the swing set. No. But you've gone for two turns. Get lost. It looks like fun and I want to do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm going to do a big jump off. Ah! Get Mom! 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 God, does everything have to have a mascot these days? I mean, look, there's a lion in overalls on the aluminum foil. I mean, who was that for? No, Lois, don't get that one. Get the one with the lion in overalls. Stewie, you want a mommy rocket ride? What? What do you mean? Here we go. Get ready for blast off. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah! Oh, my God, Stewie, are you all right? Nice throw, Casey Anthony. Get out of the fucking ah! car! Get out of the fucking car right now, man! Get out of the fucking car! Do it, go do it, I'll fucking kill you! Did we just carjack someone? We sure did, Brian. We sure did. Ugh, Brian, spit on me. Oh, that's nice. Now tell me I'm scum. How will that cool you off? Hmm? Look, this girl is making out with a baby, a nude baby. <gasps> ah, hey! That's right, to hell with you all. I am who I am. Brr, brr, brr. Come on, Stewie, we're going. Just a moment, Brian. I'm pretending I'm a fireman. I love playing pretend. My name's Peter, and I work in the brewery. Now I'm going to put on my pants and go talk to my co-workers that these pants have stool in them. Is he... is he sleeping? Hey! Hey, wake up! Wake up! You, lady, wake him up! You like the Tom and Jerry, do you, dear? Well, we'll dial them up when we get home. What the hell are you talking about? We're about to... <laughs> Oh, oh, what happened? Where are my knitting needles? <gasps> Goodness, dear, I'm so sorry. Oh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're eating hair! Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk, it's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Brian, what are you doing down there? They didn't set a place for me. Not a dog family. Oh. Go away. Go away, you. Dewey, rise and shine. Good morning, Stewie. You. You ready for the day, sweetie? Oh, someone needs a diaper change. Are you proud of yourself? That, that this is what you do? Is this a dime? Did you swallow a dime? Yeah, wipe it off and put it back in your purse, you white trash hen. Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay, okay, that was an extreme example. But face it, ladies, your best friends are not hot. Brian, what is this on my shoe? My poop. That's right, and it's disgusting. I am sick of you using the front yard as your bathroom. It's time you learn to use the toilet like everyone else. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! I thought you said we was going to see hairspray. Bitch, I thought I said just shut up and be looking fine. Let me ask you something. Does she have an alibi? For what? Why would she need an alibi? So you're saying she does not have an alibi? Well, no. Okay, so we've established she ain't got no alibi. She ugly. She ugly. U G L Y. She ain't got no alibi. She ugly. Screw off. M. She's major ugly. O. She's fat and pugly. O. My God, no, the cow says moo. Am I kidding? I can't do this. You can dump her, because once it's done, never again will you have to listen to her talk like this. You know, where everything has a question mark at the end of it. 
with an upward inflection at the end of every sentence? Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, damn it, now I'm doing it too. My baby. What? I say, let go of me. Consuela, we're leaving. My baby. Hey, she says it's her baby, man. Now get out of here. He's my baby, Ernesto. No, I'm not, I'm not Ernesto. Okay, this is so messed up right now. And we all go ahead and turn to page six in the handout. The first thing you're gonna notice is a bar graph. And what that is, is to indicate our international sales, which peaked, of oh, course, yeah. during the last quarter. But now we're expecting that to drop off as we enter the colder weather. The storm's moving away. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and, and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. I, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any, any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? So I'm going to measure your penis, and then I'm going to measure my penis, and we're going to see whose is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you get. Stupid game anyway. It just sounds like busy work. It is busy work. I'm trying to keep you off the streets and off drugs. I'm selling those candy bars. Hey, 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 you want to buy some candy bars so we can get some new uniforms for our baseball team? Where'd you get those candy bars? Fun activity you can still enjoy. Indoor skydiving. What does your friend weigh? Same as me, probably. I don't know, five, six hundred pounds. Whoa, I better crank it up. <laughs> okay, there's a chance he weighed less. Man, he's up there. Five, ten feet at least. You're not very good with numbers, are you? No, sir. Well, he's gonna be up there for a while. What do you say I go buy you 3,000 beers? Buddy, I don't know who you are, but I'm sure as hell glad you walked in. It's time for you to learn the classic pool party game, talk to somebody's wife in a bikini until they cover up uncomfortably. So, Bonnie, how are things going? Oh, things are fine. Been kind of busy lately. What with Susie starting to... Okay, bye. Man, that's like two seconds. Hey, Peter. Hey, what have you been watching on TV lately? Oh, you know, this and that. There's a show called Shipping Wars. It's actually kind of... Okay, bye. Yeah! Awesome! Peter, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. What are you doing? Well, I just found out about these things called apps, so that's kind of all I do now. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike! Peter, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Will you turn it off? I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there! We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I have a very particular lack of skills. I will never be able to find you. But what I do have is two dollars and a Casio wristwatch. You can have one of them. Trucker Noir. These guys are serious. Lois, Meg's dead! Uh, where the hell are you going? Lois told me to go jump off a cliff to prove my friendship to the guys. Are, are you, are you sure that's what she said? I don't, I don't know, Brian. Her shirt was kind of open. I was trying to get a peek down there. Anyway, I gotta go jump off a cliff. Peter, wait. Hold on. This is crazy. Damn it. Where's Peter going? Huh? Oh, for God's sake. Hi, I'm here for the pony rides. What? Oh, boy, this this must be some sort of big mix-up. Don't worry, Lois, I'll handle this. What's his name? Lightning. <laughs> that means he's fast. Okay, 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 he, wait, here's another one. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, good, that's a good one, Peter. That's what they're for, all right. Are you telling jokes? I love jokes. Oh, all right. Then you'll love this one. Okay. Why do women have boobs? So you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> so you got something to look at while you're talking to them. <laughs> so you got... You, you, uh, 
You wanted to see me, Mr. Weed? Okay, here we go. What color is a fire truck? Ah, oh, God, I always get these. Um, okay, uh, all right, fire truck. Fire truck, fire truck, fire truck, fire truck. What color are those red fire trucks? Uh, oh, God, I can picture them now, all red and everything. That's right, Peter, they are red. Uh, Lois, what are you doing? I switched Peter's questions to the preschool edition, just to let him have his moment. Good thing I just watched that National Geographic special on fire trucks. God, my husband's having a heart attack. Is anyone here a doctor? I have a 13-inch penis. So, oh, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? Make some Kool-Aid. No, we gotta wait for Lois to do it. No, we don't. I know how to make Kool-Aid. No, Quagmire, we're not supposed to... <gasps> I'm home, Peter. Oh, Peter Griffin! Peter, you come out here right now and clean up this mess. No, you said I could have two friends over, and it's just me and Quagmire, and I said we could make Kool-Aid instead of the other friend. You come out here right now. Bonnie's way cooler than you. Joe has computer games. <laughs> Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> Gemini. Oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> well, I know you're not a Virgo. Ah. Hey, from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. 50 bucks. She had nine STDs. 45 bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. 50 bucks. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. It's it, except for the flight crew. <laughs> hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How good are you? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? <laughs> yeah, here's to the drunken clam, boys, where they don't ask for proof of age, and neither do I. Quagmire, you forgot to say, oh. Are you sure? Well, I, th I think I did. All right, well, just be safe. Oh! I've never seen so many chicks in one place. Hey, hey, check out those two hotties. <laughs> they're so lonely, they're practicing kissing each other. I don't think they're practicing. Oh. 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 So, you ladies ever been penetrated? <laughs> hey, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. <laughs> hey, you must be a parking ticket, because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> hey there, I don't want to come between you, or do I? <laughs> oh, that's awful, that's awful. Hello? Hey, Lois, is Peter there? Oh, hi, Quagmire. No, Peter's not home. We're, uh... We're having some minor marital problems. Our therapist has advised us to date other people. Hey, Lois, you want to go out? What? Well, I don't know, Glenn. Peter and I just separated. I, I feel like I need more time. How about now? What? Well, well, we are supposed to see other people, and I, I guess it's better to go out with you than some sex pervert. I'm in! All right, virtual reality. Whoa, you guys gotta try this. Hey, look at me. I'm a pole in a strip club. Oh! It's showtime. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, no! Oh, oh! Hey, stop! False alarm! Ah, ah. Into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Anyway, you guys got the talent, but what you need is a manager. Someone with no talent who can take a lion's share of your earnings. You'd do that for us? Sure I would. So what do you say? Can I be your manager? You betcha. All right, put it there. No, I've seen your prescriptions. Let's just say we're doing... Boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. 
You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. Oh, Brian's a complete dick. We all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on. When are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! Promise me, Peter. Well, was honey, I promise. Not a drop of alcohol is gonna touch these lips tonight. Hey, who wants to play Drink the Beer? Right here. <laughs> you win! All right, what do I win? Another beer! Oh, I'm going for the high score. Well, actually, Charlie's got the high score. Hey, man, your clock won't flush. And when he woke up in the morning, she was still in his bed. Ah! That's it? Yeah. And then she wanted to make him eggs. Ah! And he said, oh, I don't have time. I got a meeting at 1230. And she said, I'll drive you there. Ah! And he said, no, no, it's at my office. It's like a half hour commute. And she said, I don't mind. It's on the way to my kid's preschool. Ah! 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 Glenn, thank you so much for helping me tear up my carpet. Well, you know, Lois, I, I gotta confess, uh, when you called me, I sort of misunderstood what you were asking for. That's why I rushed over, but uh, it's, well, well, you know, it's, fi it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm happy to help. What the hell is this? Peter, I've had it with all your shocking. Uh, since you won't get rid of those pajamas, I'm getting rid of the carpets. Hey, uh, Lois, you want me to leave a little strip in this thing? Maybe a lightning bolt, unicorn, something like that? No, I want it all gone, Glenn. All right, we're going Brazilian. All right, you guys, I will now do anything for $10. Who's got something for me? I got one. I'll give you 10 bucks if you wear the same pair of underwear for a month. Pay up. Uh, actually, you owe me 20. Ew. Here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. Hey, Lois, check out what I found with my metal detector. Are those, are those purple hearts? Yeah, some idiot buried like a hundred of them in this big lawn under these bone cages. Peter, I think you desecrated a military graveyard. Hey, guys, like four Jeeps just drove up onto our front yard. Oh, they must be here for the medals. Maybe. Or it could be because of my I'm gonna barf on the White House blog. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, how could this day get any worse? Oh my God. Oh, thank God. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Lois? 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 Is your wife named Lois, too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Sweet. Which movie should I start with? Backdoor Sluts 4. Eh, I haven't seen the first three. I wouldn't know what's going on. Here we go. I want to watch all of these movies nonstop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. Gretchen? Wow, you look great. Yeah, I didn't have kids. Oh, yeah, of course. But what the hell are you doing here? I haven't seen you in 20 years. Peter, I finally got your letter. You know, the one where you said that you were having doubts about marrying Lois, and you still had thoughts about marrying me? Gretchen, I wrote that a long time ago. Well, my answer is yes, Peter. Yes, I will marry you. Gretchen, I am already happily, moderately happy, uh, relative, I am, I am married. Oh. Then I suppose your wife is entitled to know that you were still in love with me just days before your wedding. <gasps> Blackmail! Thank you, Cleveland. And I don't know what to call the thing you're doing to me, lady. Hey, Brian, check it out. Meg's poking around the cargo hold. I'm gonna give her a little scare. We finally made it, Brian. We're in India. Excuse me, man with no pupil, where can we get a taxi cab around here? 
All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. No, uh, this mattress was expensive, and I'd like to keep it nice for a little while. Are you serious? We can't do it? For how long? I don't know. Let, let's just keep it new for a few weeks. A few weeks? Oh, come on, you know I'm terrible at waiting for things. We'll be right back with more Laverne and Shirley. But I want it now! <laughs> <laughs> Peter, could you please pass the potato? Ah, damn it, Meg! The only thing we really sell here are these little packets of weird vitamins that vaguely suggest they help you in the bedroom. Performance and stamina for men. I know what that means. Peter, enough. Come to bed. Uh-uh, Lois. The packet says I gotta play till I'm raw. Peter, what are you doing? Crack. What the fuck? Hey, at least I'm not drinking, Brian. Yeah, this isn't exactly a good substitute. Where'd you get crack? From Black's. What? Yeah, right behind Black's hardware store. There's a white guy selling it. Look, doing crack is not the way to stop drinking. You need to get to the heart of why you feel the need to drink in the first place. Look, here. This is the number of a hypnotherapist I want you to see. All right, Brian. Good. Hey, Peter, just thought I'd check on you. Oh, my God! Government came and took my baby! Griffin, what the hell is this? It's a robot that I built to save this company money. Now, before you say anything, one, it has no human emotions, and two, its prime directive is never to harm people. Oh, oh God, it's harming people! Angry, angry. Oh, God, it's got human emotions, too! <laughs> ah, it's using tools! It's learning, Angela! It's learning! Run! Miss Lohan! Lindsay! Over here, Lindsay! Excuse me, which one was Lindsay Lohan's dessert fork? Uh, I think it was that one. Give me cocaine! Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Knock, knock. Stewie? Yeah, I just wanted to check on how you're doing, buddy. You put on quite a show last night. I am done with this family. They don't deserve me. They're all just... Oh, you dick. You just came in to charge your phone. Sorry, Peter's using all the outlets. Toast house. I mean, it's a tough decision. Like what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you... That's a great outfit. Keep it up. I knew it. I have to start trusting myself more. And don't you worry, I'll be ready. Unlike Lois getting dressed for a night out. Uh, Tell them uh, the truth. Uh, it's me. It's me. I'm the one who takes too long to get ready. It's because I don't have any nice clothes. Peter? All right, it's because I don't like the way I look. What's this? Put your head between these two restrained logs and win a free hat. Well, that's a no-brainer. Come on, you fat <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Who's laughing now? I got my hat. You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What? 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 what what's that? You gonna find out? Huh? Where you going, fatty? We gonna have a party? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. Okay. Maybe you bring a blazer so we can go to a wider range of restaurants. I'll bring a blazer. Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Oh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear b and b we're so happy you're staying with us. Just a reminder, we ask that you not use the DVD player, but you can watch any of the VHSs. We have Clear and Present Danger, Son of the Mask. Oh, and here's most of a puzzle.
Okay, well, I don't want any of that stuff. Fine. Well, if the phone rings and we're not around, just take a message. I'm kind of on vacation. Oh, and just a heads up, the dog doesn't like men. Now, we serve breakfast from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll skip breakfast. Uh, everyone eats breakfast. I'm on vacation. All the more reason to treat yourself. The house specialty is a half-chewed trout we yanked out of the river with our teeth. That is the best stuff. We now return to The Price is Right, now with male models. Let's look at this beautiful new car, presented by Ken. I don't want it. Peanut, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. Hey, guys, let's play a party game. Let's go stand over near Brian, and we'll take a drink every time he says bonerific. Bonerific? Yeah, it's his catchphrase. He says it all the time. Yeah, sure, okay. I'm here. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> hey, hey, Brian, how you feeling tonight? Good. Having a nice time. Are you feeling terrific? Or any variation on that word? Oh, sure. No complaints. My skin's a little dry. He's not saying it, Peter. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, why would I say that? It's not even a word. What isn't a word? Bonerific. <laughs> Did I tell you? You can't keep this guy from saying it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. Ah! Where the hell's Peter? I'm almost done doing the 45 minutes of stuff a woman my age needs to do right before bed. I can't even remember why I sleep in this belt anymore. Hey, Chris, don't tell your mom I threw up in the crock pot. Peter, it's me. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go tell Chris something gross. Just come to bed. All right, fine, but I'm not gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna fat super hot. Get up. You're on my side of the bed. Peter! We act like we didn't take a lot from The Simpsons. We took a lot from The Simpsons. God, it would have been real easy to bring a gun in here. Where the hell'd they go? Oh, whoops. That was Patty. She's got a smoking hot body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. You can tell people. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Standing here. With these kids waiting for the song to end. Yankee Doodle went to town. Now I know my ABCs. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so free. Flying away and a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? Could it be? Believe it or not, it's just. You're mine now, Lois. Oh my God, Joe! Joe, you're too heavy. I can't hang on. Pretend I'm your child, Lois. Not Meg. Not Meg. Lois, you saved my life. Oh crap! My husband's home early. Wait a minute. You're married? And he's here now? Yeah, that's him. You've got to get out of here. He's really jealous. I think he's bitter because he never got the credit he deserved for killing Osama bin Laden. Your husband's a Navy SEAL? <gasps> what the hell is going on here? What is this? Ruff. You got a dog? Uh, yeah. I rescued him from the pound. Ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Well, hey there, buddy. Wow, his nose is super wet. He must be healthy. Yup, and somebody's been rooting in a sardine can. 
Well, I'm gonna grab a shower. Great, honey. Oh, I guess it's worth a shot. Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one! Some animals give me boners! I'm afraid his behavior has been an issue for a while. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, you up? Guess where I have a crayon. Wow, I really messed up. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. Oh. Ever heard of Bono? He says he knows you. Daddy, what the hell are you doing? You throw Peter in jail? Hey, Pumpkin, welcome. Whatever you do, don't tell them you have a clitoris. Yeah, they told me that at the embassy. Look, I'm sorry you got swindled, but you can't treat people this way. You let Peter out of that jail right now and give these people back their health clinic and their school. No! Hi, Lois. I like your shorts. Bye, Lois. Oh, my God! Enough is enough. That's your son-in-law and my husband. I know how families work, Lois. All right. Let him go! Yay! Lois, how much was your flight and which card did you put it on? Hey there. Oh, what are you doing here? Quagmire? Uh, oh, uh, uh, I have a hobby that takes me this way. Hey, I'm freezing. You got a blanket in there or something? I got a towel, but it's wet because I'm eating peaches. I lied about the hobby. I was sinning. I'm going to drive away backwards now. Peter, I need you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get like eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Oh, can't the kids just walk? You know I like to watch two full movies before I go to work. No, Peter, they can't walk. It's three miles. <sighs> Fine, I'll take them. But you better keep those goggles, because I'm going to put them to good use tonight. <laughs> Once the floor is full of sawdust, we can eat peanuts in here. Hey, where's Chris? He's over there, playing that carnival game. Step right up! Everybody take a chance on a whack a big a pussy Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. This is not what I thought it was! Oh, my God! Chris is out of control! I know! Must be all the violence in movies and sex on TV. Oh. Hey, I listen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter. I just came by to thank you for giving me the kick in the pants I needed to stop feeling sorry for myself and embrace my new life. I farted. As a result, I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid, ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. Now I gotta go to this thing. Ah, bite me! Laughing already just thinking about it. Only one way to get out of this. Okay, welcome to the PTA meeting. On the subject of school lunches, I know there's been some concern about nutrition. <coughs> uh, we've had complaints about the soda machines. <coughs> and I have spoken with the school board. <coughs> Is there something you'd like to say, Mr. Griffin? Uh, no. No. No, I'm good. <coughs> <laughs> oh, a dollar. <coughs> um, what's the name of this place? Dicks. And, and what's that say on your shirt? Dicks. Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Start the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. Oh, it's, I, I didn't do it. You know you can trust me, right? Come on, let, let's sit down and talk about this. I want to believe you, but... Oh! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but, but seriously, you can trust me. Bye, you guys. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye. 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 Hey, Dad, where are you going? Well, Meg, now that I'm a metal detector guy, I gotta start eating breakfast at On the Sand Cafes, where I will judge tourists as my skin browns and hardens. 
Stop throwing your kids' diapers in the trash with all the soda cans. Chris, it's time for supper. Ah, hold it, 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 hold it. All right, I am ready for the rodeo. Hey, what do you got there, Peter? Rice cakes. Never had one, but somebody told me this is a really good way to start your diet. Such a horrible thing! Okay, so here's the game. I'm I'm drunk, and I'm gonna throw the football too hard at my kids. Oh, Dad, do we have to? Ah! Don't cry! Don't cry! Game's over if you cry. I want you to learn about life, Chris, because of in life it's like this. Peter, I think you may have had one too many. Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. <laughs> Ah, hell, we're gonna be on the internet. You know what? Screw it. Let's boat! So I clicked on it, and the, the girl's got a bigger wang than I got. No way! No way, right? So I did it, so I just put my thumb over it, and then and that got me through the rest of, of the of the session. Ah, 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 for the love of God, oh don't jump God. Daddy, oh, God, God. Please, oh, God, Daddy. oh, God, oh, God. Gotcha. <laughs> See, kids, natural disasters have their lighter sides, too. You just have to be creative. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Uh, scusi, baba da boopy. Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Baba da boopy. Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. I bought a tank. Are you out of your mind? Let me show you how the gun works. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? No, 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 no! I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I want you to guess. Just, just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! It's a shocker horn. I know what it is. But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. Uh, you're gonna start dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. look nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. Oh, look, Peter. Here's something from your mother's estate. Oh, looks like they finally sold our house. And the last white domino in that neighborhood falls. Wow, they sold it? So that means the house and everything inside of it is gone? Oh, sweetheart, you thinking about all the good times you had there? No, I'm thinking about my teenage porn stash. It's still hidden in the house. Uh, okay, but I know this is really about the memories. Lactating sluts on box springs. The, the, the special times growing up. Bikini black chicks sneezing. Lewis, stop making him reminisce about stuff. <laughs> According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. The Microsoft Surface confirms it. Microsoft Surface.
My Samsung Gear S2 watch says the same thing. Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire, what's up? Hey, Peter, I, I need some help with my computer. I can't find my photos. Did you look under photos? What is that? It's a folder called Photos. Yeah, I, I don't have that. I just have 40 folders all called New Folder. Okay, you know what? Click on your hard drive. Okay, now, now the arrow on the screen, that's me, right? Yeah, yeah, that's you. Okay, now, now, now just... Whoa, 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 there's a calculator on this thing? <sighs> Listen, Quagmire, what are you trying to do? I just want to put pictures of my cat on everyone's internet computer. Like, how do I do that? Okay, wait, there's an agreement that just popped up. H hang on, let, let me read the whole thing. Just hit accept. Well, that seems a little foolhardy, doesn't it, Peter? Look, do we have to do this now? I'm watching something. I know, I'm sorry. I I'm just nervous that somebody else is going to get pictures of their cat on the Internet first, and then I'll always be known as the second guy to get pictures of his cat on the Internet. Quagmire, I don't know how to tell you this, but there's already cats on the Internet. Wait, it's, it's giving me that pinwheel thing. It it it's frozen. It uh, oh, my God, oh, my God, it crashed. The whole thing just crashed. Jeez, Quagmire, calm down. We'll figure it out. No, Peter, the whole thing's fried. I can't even... Ah! Oh, damn it, what the hell? Hey, you clicked accept. Okay, Natalia, level with me. Why are you really here? I have been sent to neutralize liberal Jewish dissident Fievel Mouskowitz. Huh? Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor, Frank Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh, you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, all right, I'll see you Tuesday. Oh no, what happened? Oh, that's terrible. Oh my god, just awful. Well, you give them my best. Okay, I gotta go. Stewie and I are headed out to the beach. Oh, I didn't tell you? He's learning to swim. Oh, I got him the cutest swim trunks at Kohl's. You've never been to Kohl's? Well, let me tell you about Kohl's. <sighs> All right, well, you know the mall with the chilies? It's across the street. <laughs> Bonnie? Bonnie, are you there? What happened? Let's go. You know what, Peter? Uh, maybe there's a silver line into this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. He does seem sharper. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Brrr, brrr, brrr. Come on, Stewie, we're going. Just a moment, Brian. I'm pretending I'm a fireman. I love playing pretend. My name's Peter, and I work in the brewery. Now I'm going to put on my pants and go talk to my co-workers that these pants have stool in them. All right, guess who just wrote ten facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? Is one that he's Jewish? Guess who just wrote nine facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? He likes classic cars. Guess who just wrote eight facts you didn't know about Jerry Seinfeld? You probably said he was Jewish a second time. All right, new article. One fact you didn't know about Michael Richards. You can't use that word in an article. And I will find a new show to write about. Well, you look a lot better. I did it, Brian. Through sheer force of will, I kicked my addiction to breast milk. I just had to find a way to make breasts seem repulsive. Yeah, how'd you do that? I watched In the Cut, Meg Ryan topless. No thanks, no thanks. Stewie, Mommy has a surprise for you. What are you doing? Oh, Brian, I thought I was ready to wean him, but I, I just missed the bonding. Uh, no, 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 put me down! I beg of you! I just kicked the stuff! Damn you! You sick, twisted... I hate you! I love it! I will kill you! Hey, what are you working on? Ah, oh, just trying to make some sense of these numbers. <laughs> what the... What did you hit? What happened to my spreadsheet? What exactly was the end game if I hadn't walked in? Put this on. Why? Because I'm skipping my physical to go have steaks with the guys, and I don't want Lois to know about it. Um... Okay. Lois, I'm going to my physical now. Okay, honey, I'll see you later. Um... What, what the hell, I'll just ask it. Why do we need the horse suit for that? But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? 
Peter, get in here right now. Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. Ow, damn, that hurts. What happened? I was breastfeeding Stewie and he bit me again. I think he might have even broken his skin. I see. Um, maybe I should, uh, you know, uh, look at it. Uh, I, uh, I, I have seen a lot of medical shows. You see, the areola is very tender here, and I think one of his new teeth may have bitten down right on the duct. I'm sorry, what? I don't know what to do, Brian. Breastfeeding's just so painful since Stewie's teeth are coming in. Now I know how Alec Baldwin feels when he feeds his brothers. Well, maybe it's time to wean Stewie. Huh, I suppose it would make my life easier. You know what? I'll give it a try. Thanks, Brian. No problem. Uh, any, any other problems you have, too, like, for example, ar around your underpants that you want me to take a look at? I could, I could take a look at, at, at that, too. Huh? Please pull down your underpants. Um, what's the name of this place? Dick's. And, and what's that say on your shirt? Dick's. Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Start the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. 